We all lost a dear friend when Frank Lautenberg uh, passed away just a, uh, a little over a week ago. He was a friend, he was a colleague, he was a mentor. In the last Congress, I had the opportunity to sit next to him on the floor of the United States Senate. Our, our desks were back there in the last row, and I had the chance to sit next to him. And I tell you, you've heard this many times, but when we had those voteramas, Frank kept me very much engaged. His sense of humor, his ability to use contemporary activities with his sense of humor kept us all going, and we're certainly going to miss that, that humor. I also sat next to him on the Environment and Public Works Committee, and he was a fierce defender of public health and the environment, and I'm going to certainly miss his advocacy. He was there to protect clean air. He chaired that subcommittee and was, took on every special interest in order to protect our children and to protect our communities. He was a fierce defender of the environment, recognizing that we all have a responsibility to pass on the environment in a better condition uh, to future generations. His story is really a story about the success of America. Here we have a child of immigrant family who came to this country uh, and started new with virtually uh, no resources. And it's very appropriate that I'm talking about Frank Lautenberg on the day in which the immigration reform bill is on the floor of the United States Senate. Uh, I, I know that if Frank were here, he would be talking about his own family and his own experiences and why the passage of this immigration bill is so important for America's future. Yes, we're going to do the right thing for the values of America, but we're also going to help America's economic future and our security in the future. So he grew up in a family of poverty. His father died when he was very young. He really had no choice after high school but to enter the military. But he wanted to enter the military because he wanted to serve his country. So he went and served our country in World War II. And as you know, he the, was the last surviving member of the United States Senate who served in World War II. He did an incredible service to our country under extremely difficult circumstances. He came back to the United States, and this country offered him the GI Bill opportunity for education. But for that GI Bill, Frank Lautenberg never would have had those educational opportunities. He took advantage of it and went to business school and used that for develop a business that was innovative and creative. There was a need out there to deal with personnel costs by businesses. And Frank Laudenberg developed with his partners a way in which that service could be provided in the most cost-effective way. Now, what did that do? That made this country more efficient, more effective. What that did was create a lot of jobs for this country, and it also made Frank Laudenberg a fairly wealthy person. That's the American way. Innovation to grow our economy, to create jobs, and to benefit by your own innovation. Frank Lautenberg took advantage of that and succeeded in a great way. But he wasn't satisfied with that. He wanted to give back to his community. So he served his community, he served his community in many ways. There's a whole list of community organizations that he provided leadership, his own personal time, in order to help people. He did that. Jewish Federation became a national leader to help communities all over the world. Frank Lautenberg did that as a private citizen because he thought it was the right thing to do. But then he decided he wanted to serve his community in a, in a, a, more, uh, in a different way. So he ran for the United States Senate, got elected to the United States Senate, served two different terms in the United States Senate. He's the only senator that was both the junior and senior senator twice uh, from the same state, but he never forgot his roots. He never forgot where he came from, and he has a long list of accomplishments from helping refugees come here to America to helping keep the air we breathe on airlines safe for our children. And the list is, is, is voluminous. We've already talked about it. He will be missed by all. Our thoughts and prayers are with Bonnie, who we all know so well, and his entire family, the people of New Jersey and the people of this nation. Frank Lautenberg was an extraordinary person who made a lasting mark. He will be missed by all, and we all know that we're better because of having served with him.